with regards to the uh, the legacy of apartheid people are now living in the same streets with one another but often still in their hearts and in the way that they live out their lives they're still very much segregated Dumela lina la ka ke ona mokhatle and ke bereka ko mokerekeng before you know meeting the Lichtman guys I was uh, at a Baptist church in the city of Pretoria as much as I I love the church I was struggling to bring my non-christian friends to I would say that's when God started working on my heart and saying listen maybe you need to start something new and so when I met the Lichtman guys you know they were convinced that on a year the God upon this church I sat with my wife and we prayed about it and so we took we took the plunge we we dove straight in so we started with six people including my wife and I uh just a small group we had a few vision evenings where I would share the vision uh, we did two of those and and that grew the group from 6 to about 20 people and so in february of 2015 uh, we were sent out by lechpent uh, to go and, and plant one of our values as a church plant is we want to be transcultural because i believe when different ethnicities uh, different cultures different socio economic classes gather together to worship the same god it's one of the most powerful demonstrations of the gospel and part of the reason we planted in pretoria is because we're saying this is probably the hardest place to do that but when the lord does it then no other city would have an excuse you know people would look to pretoria and go well if the lord can do it there the birthplace of about that then gosh he can do it here as well um, and that's through the planting of churches for the longest of time just black people felt like there's certain things that we can't do and those are only for white people And so because we're talking about church I've never seen one in you know Pretoria where you have a black guy leading a congregation but the congregation is diverse. So I've had a few guys actually invite some of their non-Christian friends through this way they say hey do you want to come to church and you know, the response is no I'm not interested. No no no. Uh, my pastor is black and there's white people in the congregation and guys go look I don't believe in the gospel I don't believe in this Jesus thing but this I've got to see. So our greatest desire is to see more people come to faith. And so we'd love to see that transcend not only cultures but also you know, the rich and the poor the, the white and the black and, and and so to 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 keep planting churches would be one of our greatest desires. A very exciting thing is is that we a, another black South African guy his name is Sibusisu. Uh, he's going to join us at, at Lichpen for a church plant residency and uh, and then he's going to go out to plant a church in Mamelodi Township which we're very excited about. He's a guy who comes from the townships um and is going back to a township setting in Pretoria to to plant a, a church that will Lord willing plant another township church. Um and so even when I think about Sibu, he's planting in an area that we could never reach. So even though we're both black, it's just a completely different context, a different social economic um, reality. Um, but being a part of this family gives you kind of a brotherhood in you, you know, guys that you can lean on guys that you can learn from we'd love to see more extreme mind in South Africa and Africa uh, i think the, um, the the most exciting part of it you know, is this development globally of churches reaching different parts of of the globe um, but but i think the you know the one thing that we would love to see is more of it in in you know on our continent